Mark, welcome to my home. Today we're going to start on a series of videos talking about multimeters. Um, these videos have been asked, I've been asked to do these videos for a long time by a lot of people, so today we're going to start on it. Now, this multimeters are spectacular devices that can, in, uh, in the hands of a good technician, a good multimeter, you can fix just about any electronic device. I mean, they can. Multimeters can measure voltage, they can measure current, they can measure frequency, they can measure conductivity, they can measure forward voltage drops, they can measure AC volts, they can measure DC volts, they can measure DC current, they can measure RMS values, all kinds of stuff. Don't let that scare you. We, as tab trailer owners, don't need to know all of that, right? So let's, we're going to take it in very small pieces of just what you need. So we're not going to go way out there. I'm not going to show you how to take a multimeter and fix a computer. That's not going to happen here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you the, the few things that a multimeter can, can do as it relates to your tab trailer and keep it into very small little chunks. I want to break this video down into multimeters 101, 102, 103. I'm going to do a series of them just as if you were taking a course. And we're going to keep them in small chunks so that uh, it doesn't overwhelm you because it, I understand it can be very overwhelming. Now, I've been in the electronics business um, as an engineer since I was a kid. Um, so <laughs> I was working in a radio repair shop when I was a junior in high school and been working ever since then. But we're going to do a little intro here. <clears throat> what is a multimeter and why do I need it? A multimeter, as, it names imp as its name implies, multimeter, many meters. It can measure many things. Well, we don't care about all those things that it can measure. We just need, we just care about a few things, specifically three things. Of the thousands of things that multimeters can do, we're only interested in three things. So let's, let's get at it. These are a whole set of multimeters and they come from the very expensive. This is a Fluke 112. This is a, a Beckman 3020. This is a Fluke 77, and this is what you kind of need. This is a cheap. These guys can be hundreds of dollars. This guy, you can find ones just like this, very similar to it, for less than $4 on Amazon, which is amazing to me. When I was a kid, multimeters used to be analog. See that little dial? <laughs> this was made... This was a kit that I got when I was nine, made by Radio Shack. It's an Archer kit. Um, this meter, <laughs> it's an antique. You don't need an analog meter. You don't need expensive digital meters. You need about the cheapest meter you can find. Because only th the only thing we need to do, as I said before, we only need to do three things with this. So, let's... Let's get at it. So what is it that we're going to learn to do with that multimeter today in Multimeters 101? Well, 
The main thing that a multimeter can do is it can measure voltage. Makes sense. You have a battery, it has a certain voltage. If it's charged, it's at some high voltage. If it's discharged, it's at some low voltage. Wouldn't you like to know if your battery is charged or not? Wouldn't you like to know if your battery is charging? Wouldn't you like to know if your battery is discharging? So measuring voltage in your trailer is, is something you'd want to do. Now our trailers have two systems in them. They have a 12 volt DC system, that's the battery in the converter, and they have a 120 volt AC system. That's shore power. So here's your battery power and shore power. So we're gonna teach you how to, how to make measurements of the battery power and how to make measurements of the shore power. That's the only thing that we're gonna do in Multimeters 101. Now the next, the next series won't have such a big intro to it. We'll dive right into it. So this video is gonna be a little longer than, than usual, but um, we'll get there. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to get with the multimeter. We're gonna get a battery here and we're gonna, we're gonna do some show and tell and show you how to use this to tell if your battery is good or not. Be right back. Okay, so here we are. I have a battery, uh, just a typical lead acid deep cycle battery. This is not an AGM battery. This is not a lithium battery. This is just the standard deep cycle lead acid battery. That's important because a lithium battery is going to be a little different. You're going to measure it in the same way, but the results you get are going to mean different things. The other thing I have is just a, uh, a charger. So we're going to talk about this battery, this charger, and a multimeter. So what we're going to do, that is a 12 volt battery, DC. This is my multimeter. Now, like I said, multimeters can do multiple things. So we have to tell this multimeter, what do we want to do? Let's look at the parts of the multimeter. There's this knob. This knob tells the multimeter what you want it to do. It's got an on off switch. When it turns on, you can see the, yeah, you can see those values there. On off, you have to remember when you store it, leave it off, otherwise you'll come back and the battery back here will be dead. If you've got a dead battery in your multimeter, you, you're stuck. So remember, change that battery on a regular basis. I like to do that once a year when I winterize my trailer. I change the battery out. I change this battery out. I change the battery out in my smoke detector, blah, blah, blah. Just do a regular business. So anyway, so if you look close at this dial, you're going to see, and yours may be different. They may be in different order, but they're all going to be very similar. They may be different, but similar. You see over here, it says DC volts. See that? That little see DC volt there? And you see how it's got a little line, starts at um, 200 million or 200 millivolts, 2000 millivolts, 20 volts, 200 volts, 1000 volts. And then here's AC volts and here's DC amps. And here's all the other things it can do. Like I said, this multimeter can do a ton of things, but we want to measure DC volts. How many volts do we want to measure? Well, we have to tell it how many DC volts we want to measure. That settings, if you can see that, and I think you can, so it says a thousand. That's telling this meter we want to measure a thousand DC volts. That's not what we want to do, is it? Flip it down one, see that? That says we want to measure 200 DC volts. That's still not what we want to do. We move it down one more, see that? We're going to measure something around 20 volts, right? Around 20 volts. Um, that's a good place to start. So we tell the meter, put the meter on the 20, and then you've got these leads, right? And you've got several places. Some of them are down here. Some of them are on the side. But one of them is going to be called common. The black one goes in common. The red one you can see again, you've got 10 amps DC or volts. So what do we want to do? We want to measure 12 DC volts. So we put that one in the one that's that says volts. See that? 
The V there, that stands for volts, and the common is where the black one goes. Now this is pretty straightforward. We're going to turn it on. And we look at that, it's showing 0 0.01 volts. That's just because of the, the, the radio noise that's in this room. Um, very small voltage. That's one one hundredth of a volt. Um, <laughs> not much. But what we're going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to take this, and slide this over. So you can see what's going on. This post is marked positive. This post is marked negative. I'll put that. Well, let's see if I can put this somewhere where you can see it. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. All right. So this is just a 12 volt lead acid battery, and it's been sitting around for a while. And it's important that that these this battery is what it's called at rest, which means it's been sitting here about 30 minutes, not being charged, not being discharged, it's not connected to anything. It's resting. And it's been that way about 30 minutes. If you want these meter readings to be accurate to what's going on with your battery, it needs to be in this state. It needs to be disconnected and resting. It needs to have sat there for about 30 minutes. So this guy is ready to be tested. Been here 30 minutes. So very simple. All you have to do I'm going to move this down so that you can see it. Hopefully you can see that. I think you can. Yeah, I think you can see that. I'm going to take this lead and I'm going to hold it on the positive post and this lead, the black one, and hold it on the negative post. Well, look at that. I'm sitting at 12.68 volts. So, all right, that's 12.68 volts. What does that mean? Online, you're going to find charts like this one. Um, let me move this back up. You're going to find charts online like this one and you can see that it shows the voltage and the state of charge and again this chart is for a lead acid battery not an agm battery not a lithium battery but it says that 12.6 volts or above i'm at 100 charge what was this this guy He is 12.68 volts. So what do I know about that battery? I know that battery is fully charged. You can see when it comes down to 12.5 volts at 90% charge. When it's down here at 12.2 volts, it's 60% charged. When it's down here at 11.58, it's 20% charged. When you get down to 10.5, that's 0% charge. Never ever let one of these batteries go below 10.5 volts. That's 0% charge. If you go lower than that, you likely damage your battery. So that's about it. It's just as simple as that. You just take your meter, you turn it on, you turn it to 20 because that's the range of voltage that you're going to, you're going to meet, right? I'm not measuring a 200, we're not measuring 2000, um, we're measuring up to 20. So 16 volts is pretty close to 20. So you set that at 20, you take your two probes, you put the black one on the negative, the plus one on the bottom, and it says 12.67. Now, just that easy. Well, sometimes your battery may be charging. So I've got over here a charger. So we're going to hook the, the black to the negative and the white or the red to the positive. And if I look over at my charger, see that? That yellow light means it is charging. So the charger's on it. This battery is no longer at rest. It was 12.67 volts. What is it now while it's charging? It's not at rest. All right. Put the positive the positive lead to the red red um, post, negative to the black. And down here, let me move down for you. 
Hopefully you can see that. I think you can see that. When I connect up, It's hard doing these videos. <laughs> uh, stick with me here, guys. Okay, look the positive and negative up, and look at that. I'm now showing 12.91. Think about that a minute. Voltage on this battery is more than 12.67. It's 12.91. So what does that say? That says that that charger is charging this battery because the voltage is above the resting voltage, right? When this battery is charging, it's a, right now, see it's even going up even higher now. It's now 13.13, 13.14, 13.15, 13.16. So this charger over here, that charger is charging this battery. So we'll disconnect it from the charger again. Those two leads are now off. And we look and we connect up the meter to it again, 13.05. See how that's up? It was 12.67. We put a charger on it sitting at 13.05, 13.04. In a minute here, it'll be 13.03. You can see that this battery is now coming down to rest. So that's it, folks. What we covered here today is how to measure, with a multimeter, battery voltage. That's all. And we told you what it means when you measure different kinds of voltages. If your battery is up at 12.6 volts, according to your meter, you're at 100% charge. If it's above that, it means that your battery is being charged. If it's below 10.5, you know that your battery is dead. That simple. So we're going to wrap it up here. Um, this is uh, uh, Multimeters 101, a very simple little dinky piece. This will allow you to use a multimeter to tell the state of your battery in your trailer whether it's charged, whether it's discharged, or whether it is charging. That's Whoa, it. wait a minute. <laughs> this is Multimeters 101, and you thought that I was going to send you home without any homework. Here's some homework for you. These are typical batteries, right? No difference, really, between these batteries and the big battery that's in your trailer. Um, maybe this battery, this is a 9-volt battery that came out of my smoke alarm. Well, is it good? Is it bad? How do I know? That's how I know. So what are you going to do? First off, you're going to turn this dial to 20. You're going to plug these, these leads in, the black one into common, the red one into voltage. You're going to turn it on. You're going to take your two leads and you're going to hold them on the battery, right? There and there. Well, look at that. 1.60 volts. This is a 1.5 volt battery. That's a good battery. How about this double A? 1.58 volts. Um, not as good as that one. Not as good as that one, but still good. Here's a nine volt battery. Going to just hook the leads on there and we look 9.66 volts. Hey, that's a good battery. Your homework for today grab a bunch of batteries, grab your meter, set it to 20, put the leads in the right place, turn it on, and measure these battery voltages. That's your homework. Get used to it. <laughs> that's the first function of a multimeter that's important to you as a tab trailer owner. All right, now you can go. We'll see you later.